As expected of my daughter, her culinary skills are good. Hey, guess who's here? Oh, no way! It's the Traveler and Paimon! Ah, oh, Traveler, welcome. Good to see you. What can I get for you? We want some black back perch stew. All right, black back perch stew it is. Make yourselves at home. It'll be right out for you in just a moment. Thanks, Chef Mel. I was just thinking about you guys, and now you're here. It feels like you heard my call and came running. <laughs> you mean you were about to come looking for us? Uh huh. There's something I want to discuss with you guys. Did you happen to see how the city looked on the way over here? Everyone's getting ready for the Moon Chase Festival. Moon Chase Festival? Is that another one of Liyue's ancient traditions? And that's right! Moon Chase is a big festival where we celebrate the arrival of the fall by moonlight. The old folks say that thousands of years ago, this was the time of the year when the Adepti would seek the way. But it's completely different nowadays. We eat our favorite foods, spend time with friends and relatives, enjoy the moon and the flowers. So much easier. Basically, we just do all the things that people like doing and don't take a whole lot of effort. Sounds like Paimon's kind of festival. <laughs> with your great taste in food, Moon Chase Festival is sure to be to your liking. If you got a problem with Paimon's taste, just spit it out! Um, so are you guys free these days? I'm taking part in this year's Masterful Chefs. If possible, I'd like you to be my culinary consultants. That's right. Getting some suggestions from friends will broaden your horizons. Masterful Chefs, huh? So is that like a competition? <laughs> All right, yeah! I guess you probably haven't heard about it before. Every year, Moon Chase Festival has a different theme, usually picked by the Qixing. This year's theme is Feast of the Bounteous Land, so the Qixing decided to organize a cooking competition. Feast of the Bounteous Land. Hmm. Pretty much sums up what Leo is all about. Great theme. I totally agree. I heard it was Ningguang that came up with it. She's so amazing and so full of mystery. Well, I want to take part in the competition, but coming up with new dishes is hard work. By the time you finally thought of something, cooked it, taste tested it, it can be hard to judge whether you're really into something or not. And so, I was thinking, I could get the two of you to help by gathering everyone's thoughts on what makes a great dish. I really want to think outside the box this time. And to do that, I'm going to need lots of different ideas from lots of different people. This'll be a piece of cake! We've got friends from all over the map, haven't we? <laughs> you sound pretty confident. Well, you know, not to brag or anything. But first things first, let's have a delicious woman meal. After that, we can go around to all of our friends in Leela and get their ideas one by one. Okay, great. Also, Goba should be back soon, so we can all go together. Here's your black back perch too, folks. Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> it's my pleasure. That was so delicious. Theory confirmed, this is definitely chili pepper weather. Sheng Ling can be a bit of a handful, so please look out for her while you're out and about. Come on, Dad! Why would you say that? Because I know you all too well, my dear. That's why. You mustn't be quite so reckless when you're out in the wild, you understand? You'd do well to be a little more cautious, like our traveler friend. Don't worry, we're all friends here. Let's all look out for each other. Ah, and Guoma's back. Rolly pulling around as usual. All right, let's pack up and head out.
inside the box thinking that we're looking for, right? Huta always seems to have a unique perspective, so let's make this our first stop. What, what, what? My ears are burning. Did somebody say my name? Uh, yeah, it's Paimon and the Traveler. Oh, and Shengling, too. Oh, of course, Hu Tao. Way, way outside the box. Meaning, you're here for some other reason, right? How might I be of assistance? Uh, well, Hu Tao, I wanted to ask you, what kind of food do you like? What food I like? Hmm, well, off the top of my head, I don't really have an answer. Wow. So even Hu Tao gets lost for words sometimes. Paimon sure didn't see that coming. Come on, even the chirpiest birds clock out for the night, right? I'm no different. Ah, uh, pretty sure clocking out isn't something birds do, but okay. <laughs> All right, there's no need to overcomplicate it. Just pick a dish and tell me what you like about it. I'm doing some market research. I see, I see. Launching a new dish? Well, let me say right off the bat, nothing weird, okay? Some poached fish, a side of shrimp dumplings, that is all you need. Mm, poached fish and shrimp dumplings, that's a bit ordinary, isn't it? Well, it is and it isn't. Think about it. Poached fish is hot and spicy with a powerful aroma. It's a dynamic dish. Add a side of shrimp dumplings, and there's your static component. Got it? Dynamic? Hmm. Oh, I can do dynamic. Mushroom slimes do it. No, 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 not that kind of dynamic. <laughs> a dish is more than substance. It's a mood. Poached fish is red and spicy. It elicits a response from the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. That's why I call it dynamic. Shrimp dumplings are more subdued, clear and smooth with a pure and subtle fragrance. I call that static. Combining dynamic and static is how you create a perfectly balanced meal. A union between opposite but complementary features coexisting in perfect harmony. Uh, Paimon didn't follow that at all. But at the same time, it kind of sounded smart, so... Okay... Dynamic and static. Opposite, but complementary. Um, so is this just another way of saying you should keep everything balanced? You know, a little meat, a little veggie, a little salt, a little sugar? Bingo! Except I don't think you need to have a sweet dish for it to be a complete meal. Personally, I always skip dessert. Okay, I think I got it. At first I thought you were just goofing around, but actually you make a really good point. <laughs> How did I ever doubt you, Hu Tao? Thanks! When it comes to telling tales, the storytellers have got nothing on Hu Tao! Hmm? Huh? Sounds suspiciously like a compliment to me. I'll take it. Uh-huh. Well, at least one of you gets it. Everything in this world runs on its own set of principles, be it the circle of life or sugar and spice. You either get it or you don't. Since the Traveler seems to approve, I'll make sure to factor it in. Hmm, Paimon thinks we're pretty much done here now. Let's head to Boo Boo Pharmacy next! Boo Boo Pharmacy? Yeah, you'll definitely get some interesting responses over there. 